this is Phil, so this is going to be the last Epsom Run Sense video which I record. I'm going to take you step by step kind of how to use the watch. So have a look. So when you first switch the watch on, it takes a little while to start up. So while we're timing this, it's working out to be a little around 14 or so seconds from pressing it to switching it on. There we go. A long press on the lower left button, switched on the heart rate monitor. As you can see, it's illuminated here. Switching it off. So this takes you through the basis of starting activity. So I've started it here. I'm inside, so I'm going to skip the GPS. Uh, press the button there. It takes us onto the standby, start, stop, and we're off onto our activity. The heart rate monitor is picking up my heart rate from my finger there. Um, just press the lower left button cycles you through the different screens, you see heart rate, you see average pace, you can see split times. The top button starts the light off and on, but you can also select the tap function to turn it on. It's not amazingly responsive and it can be activated by uh, clapping your hands, which is interesting. A long press on the pause screen stops the activity and updates the watch. When you want to look at your past activities, uh, tap of the lap button, you can scroll up and down using the right hand side buttons, left hand button selects it, you can see the different screens here, you've got your calories, you can see your lap splits for each one by scrolling down, you can see the average lap pace for each one of those. Scrolling back up to the top then, you can see all those other screens yet again, the time you did the event and then you go back with the lower left button, back again, and then you have to, it's quite awkward, you have to scroll right up to the top and then back. Uploading your activities is a little bit fiddly, use the app, I'm using my iPhone, uh, you press the lower right hand button to start the watch communicating, and then you have to cycle through the different screens to get your data to upload. It takes a little while, it's a little bit fiddly. So that's it, I've been using the watch since January, uh, it's now 20th of March, it's the last day for submitting videos to the site. I have enjoyed doing the trial. I've kind of enjoyed making the videos when I've had time to do it. Um, I think I'll definitely be using the watch again. I think they've got to make some improvements to it, like the interface uh, when you upload. Uh, a lot of the other watches I've used automatically upload when you've finished activities and you don't really have to think about it, you just go and do it later. Also the app for looking at your activities is really clunky and really slow and the upload time is good. It's a good piece of hardware. Heart rate monitors a nice feature. Sometimes it doesn't always record the whole activity. Sometimes the heart rate drops off, but generally it's okay. <laughs>